And it's finally time. Hello, guys. It's me, 8675309858, for Trace Race number one of season two of the NRSL Outback Series. We're here at Chicago Twin Sweep. I'll give you all the details on the track in a moment, but let's give you a top ten rundown. Seth Cole is your pole sitter. He just he missed out by flipping. Michael Walton in second. Third, Alan Smith, who's made the chase via LCQ. Fourth, James Sorfox. Um, fifth, Jacob Waller. Sixth, Eric Burden. Sorfox, Burden, Chase Contenders. Um, seventh is uh, Eugene Max, and eighth is Noah Hart. Ninth, Dylan Posey, and tenth is Randy Carpenter. You do the rest of the field right now. That's a look at your starting lineup there. The cars are getting ready to go off. We're going to be here for 15 laps now. I'll give you about the chase scenarios on the track right now. Let's give you the chase scenarios first. The chase scenarios, if you had a win this season, you had five points. So every win that you get, you get five points. Well, here's the deal from what I'm looking at on our live points. This is the pace car dives on the pit road. we got plenty of time here because, you know, we, they got about another turn to get there. Um, Sam D., James Sofox, Joseph Bright, Eugene Max, and Anthony Emery, who had two wins this season, have ten points, ten extra points. Eric Byrne, Aaron Williams, Austin Ogo, Luke Walker, and, Tyler, and Luke Walker get five bonus points because they have won a race. And people like Tyler Everest, Justin Talpass, Dylan Poti, Alan Smith, and Cody Lamas, who have no wins this season, get, well, the regular 2,000 points. But anyway, pace car dives on pit road. We're here for 15 laps. This track is like two doves in one. Here we go. Green flag is out. And I've seen people who've used this are Hendrick Fan 54, a.k.a. Angel Hernandez, and Randy Orton Fan 2011, a.k.a. Kevin Ravnell. This is located in downtown Chicago, if you did not notice where the hell this is at. And you'll probably see it here in the spectator. Oh, caution's out already! I guess you... Oh, they're stacking up, stacking up. Uh... Oh, Jax got some damage, Newman. 70's got some damage. We already got our first caution, but already we're seeing a lot of passing here, which is good. This is what we see. And Seth Cole is out in front. Michael Walden is in second. Wow. This guy's just had a big collapse, and that 11 team didn't make the chase. The 44, I don't know how he made it from the LCQ. It was amazing. Silver Fox having a great season. He's in fourth. Fifth is Lawler. He didn't make it. Eugene Max has been the biggest story of them all. Made, made the... Um, the field in race 15, won there, and then won in New Hampshire to make the chase as they take it back to the stripe, and Eric Burton is sixth. But if Eugene to Max wins this, I'll be shocked. Caution's out for the first time. Looks like involved are Heath, uh, Newman maybe, Jackson's got some damage, Jake William, Williams and um, Dom Caps. Goodness me. Oh, we're going to keep an eye on this place. Okay, they're good. Oh, Trevor Jackson's got some damage. Shoot. Wow, I didn't see that coming. Caution's out for the first time today. And, yeah, all these guys are held up from that. Newman's got some damage. And Seth Cole leads us down. Let's take a look and bring ourselves the first caution of the race. Here's a look and bring ourselves the first caution. I guess stupid mistakes already on the start. They're trying to get used to the track. And um, let me show you the helicopter cam here. Look at this. Heap's going to dive low, forgets match Morse there, gets into him. And then up ahead, car spinning. That's Jake Williams. Let's go to that. Oh, Aaron Williams got the ball. That's a chaser there. Not a good start for him. And Town Pass. I think Town Pass got involved, but just. No, he didn't. He avoided it. Oh, he, never mind. Watch Jake Williams in the 88 here. Watch this here. They're getting ready to go for the start. And, uh,. The green is up, but we're watching from this year, I think, because this is where the most pandemonium begins. They just all freaked out. And uh, Stephen Dillon is going to get clipped by uh, the 70 of Don Caps. He just goes into him and then goes into the 88. Man, Austin Ogo avoids it. Talbass gets a side swipe there. There's where the 70 gets his damage. Rod Houston gets turned. He's just been having such a shit season. There's Heat going around. There's Galgan avoid it. Mike Newman clips Aaron Williams. Justin Talbass. Wow, how did he avoid... Charles Jackson, I don't know if he avoided, uh, oh, he did, oh, he just tapped Galligan, but I don't think it was major there. 
Vin Diesel was around, and Pete, and just... That was what happened to bring ourselves the first caution of the race. Seth Coley is down, stick you back to the green. Pace car has given us the one lap to go. No one has retired from the race. So I'm going to show you here this cam here. You're, I know we're in a bad spot here, but it's going to come on by. This is it. This is a cool cam. This is from TV2. You're seeing the bridge part of the racetrack, and this is the coolest part about it. You know, you get part of downtown Chicago, and you get to see all the cars from both sides there. So that's the cool part about it there that you can see from the track. Just wanted to show you there. So, oh, Lindsey Johnson's got some damage. I didn't even notice her get involved, but we'll probably take a look at that when we go back to green. Uh, let's give you your, your full field lineup. Seth Cole is your leader. Michael Walton second. Alan Smith third. James Sorfox fourth. Fifth is Jacob Lawler. Sixth is uh, Eugene Max. Seventh, Eric Burton. Eighth, Noah Hart. Ninth, Randy Carpenter. And right at the top ten is Dylan Poti. Eleventh, Dylan Lovett. Twelfth, Luke Walker. Thirteenth, Johnny Gardner. Fourteenth. Uh, Jackson Emery, 15th. Trevor Jackson, who's got that heavy damage. We'll see how, how effective he is with that. 16th, Cody Lama. 17th, John Dillon. 18th, Tyler Evers. 19th, Dylan Young. 20th, Danny Wells. 23rd through 30th are Zach Hoffschneider, Sam B, Nicholas Guerra, Willem Schultz. He's got some damage. Austin Ogo, Anthony Emery, Stephen Dillon, uh, Dom Caps, Jake Williams, and Justin Talpass completes your top 30. Rest of the field are Charles Jackson, Aaron Williams, Mike Newman, Sean Galligan, Joseph Bryant, Leah Walker, Rod Houston, J Jason Matchmore, Alex Jones, Kyle Sosnowski in your top 40, and the rest of the field, Josh Heap and Lindsey Johnson. Here we go. Green flag is back on. We're on lap 6 of 15. They took a while to clean it up, but I guess, you know, trying to get to that part of the track, you know. Oh, they're wrecking on the turn. We'll probably take a look at that with Lindsey Johnson, but so far, single file in the front until where Luke Walker, Jackson Emery are. They're bound for a spot. Luke Walker trying to take it on the high side, but like they say, the inside line prevails. I've never seen where the outside works on this track. I've, I've tested it out many times. I have not seen it. Unless, you know, this is the problem here on this turn. You know, the outside line's going to, like, break so much, the inside line's going to come in. I do forgot to mention, though, Tom Schneider's going really low on the track. Wow, I've never seen him go that low. Um, that the way how this works for the chasers to get their points is... An order of chase appearance. You've probably seen it on the Dog 97's channel there. Um, but, like, say, Alan Smith, he is the top chaser here. He would get 14 points here because there's 14 chasers. Uh, from what I am seeing. And if he were in first place, he would have had two more extra bonus points, which he would have had a total of 16 points. So. Alan Smith would have 14, Silver Fox 13, Eugene Max 12, Eric Burton 11, Dylan Poteet 10, 9 Luke Walker, 8 Cody Lamas, 7 Tyler Everest, 6 Sam D, 5 Austin Ogo, 4 Anthony Emery, 3 Justin Talpass, Two, Aaron Williams, and one for Joseph Bryant. As Seth Cole continues to lead as we are on lap 8 of 15, there's a little, little bit of a gap between each other, but they're still racing pretty good, though. You know, it was just that one caution, and then they're fine. They're, good. they're, still, they're still staying green. So, great racing for Seth Cole and the Nemco Motorsports number 97 team. Joseph Bryant's won two wins this season, and I think Seth was wondering, you know, man, I wish that win would have came earlier. So we're looking on the rear cam here of Seth Cole. Look at the distance between him and um, Michael Walton. As the gap is starting to close a little bit. But it's more closing in on Michael Walton to Alan Smith, or vice versa. But, uh, you know, it's crazy. So the rear, rear view there. And we're going to go on board with... Uh, Someone here from because they're mostly on single file, which is really weird. Um, let's see, I just want to show you there. Let's go on board with James Silverfox in the number one. Show you what he could see through this, through the racing style. As it looks like the the, the line that's there is technically where the cars like to run. Silverfox, he's like going 
a little bit lower there. You know, he stayed in the draft and stuff, and this turn here is a good breaking point, but this is the bridge part of the race of a turn. A lot of tracks don't have it that much. And here's the down part of the bridge as they're going on right now. They're on the inside of the track, on the inside of the original turns there. And they're taking the turn there. There's a view of downtown Chicago right there. Because that's what's the cool part about it. And now they're going to the back stretch where the pit road is. And then now they're going to go under the bridge right here. And they're going to take their turn. Make it not too hard or not too late. Got to make it just right. And that is a lap of Chicago Twin Speedway in Chicago, Illinois. And Seth Cole has just pulled ahead of Michael Walton as he is getting under fire from Alan Smith. But Seth Cole is saying bye-bye, and he is just making them pay. Let's take a look at the back of the pack there. Lindsey Johnson, her damage is just too bad. Sosnowski, Heap, Alex Jones, Leia Walker, Jason Matchmore, Joseph Bryant just, man, top of the points. He's going to fall pretty bad. Same with Aaron Williams. Uh, goes the same for uh, Town Pass. Well, he's already in the bottom, so. Uh, Anthony Emery going to drop. Austin Ogre's going to drop a little bit. Uh, excuse me. Sam D's going to be... He's doing all right. Top 25. Everest is going to be all right. Maybe gain some spots. How about this, though, before we continue? Trevor Jackson, the damage that he has got, he's in 16th, and he is still racing well. You can see that little dent at number 27, uh, 4 there. He's still running fine. Lamas in 14th. He's doing pretty good. He'll get some spots. Uh, Dylan Pozzi, he's going to get some spots for sure with the top 10 run he's at. Eric Burden, 7th right now. He's going to get a big boost on those. Eugene DeMax, he could be the... Nope, never mind. Silver, Silver Fox, from what we're seeing, could be the new points there because uh, he is, you know, one of the top of the people there. And Eugene DeMax is about another spot or two behind Silver Fox. So he's yeah, like, in between them is Jacob Waller. He's like the meat and the sandwich there of that gap. And, you know, we'll see what will happen as we are on lap 12 of 15. And look at um, Michael Wald getting past. Something's wrong with the 11 car. Uh-oh. Yeah, his speed's dropping a lot. Uh-oh. Something is wrong with the 11. Who was running second at the time. He has fallen like a rock. Something is wrong with that car. That is where we're talking about of how much of a struggle that guy's had this season. Yeah, he, I think he lost the cylinder. And he held up Trevor Jackson, held up John Dillon. This is the question. I think we're going to stay with him because maybe he could hold up some drivers. He could. Who knows? But all the drivers are going down low in the inside line. No worries. No worries. Will Schultz also has some damage from that wreck. I didn't even notice that. Austin Ogo. Anthony Emery. Goodness me. And now he's going to make it to pit road. So... Something is wrong. Yeah, Cylinder must be down. As now Alan Smith takes over second. Now he's trying to hunt down Seth Coles. We got three to go. Silver Fox moves into third. Lawler fourth. And Eugene Max cracks top five. Eric Burton sixth. Noah Hart seventh. Brandon Carpenter eighth. Dylan Pozzi now ninth. And Jackson Emery completes the top ten. And there's the 11. He's in pit road. There is something wrong. It probably is Cylinder. But man, that's a tough break. He was second at the time. And another bad finish for that 11 team. He's like the Sky Commons of the Outback Series. I'm taking a look here. Zach Hoffner completes the top 20 there, as you're seeing, who cracked it. Charles Jackson cr cracks the top 30. Jake Williams fell back to 29th with his damage. Look at Sean Galligan work his way on that inside line. Wow, Galligan's just been silent. He, you know, he hasn't freaked out about the LCQ. He hasn't, you know, he... He, you know, he came so close to making it. And it's a shame for that 08 team. He was running well and just choked at the end. And Trevor Jackson, man, this guy just amazes me. Back in the 15 spot, this guy just, with that damage, has not lost it. As we got two laps to go, Seth Cole looking for his second career NRL Outback Series victory. His first of the season. He's got to be careful, though. He's got to hold off Alan Smith there. Alan Smith is hunting him down. He is closing that gap fast. 
And Silver Fox is trying to join into that party as well. Seth Cole, who flipped in the LCQ, he really wants the redemption and wants to show, hey, I flipped at the LCQ, but I can still show you that even though I'm not in the chase, I can still beat you guys. Here we go, coming in, I believe this is turn 8. Turn 4, whatever, I don't remember. Shoot. Yeah, that was turn 8. White flag is out for Seth Cole. And now Silver Fox closing the gap on Alan Smith. Alan, Alan Smith's losing the gap on Seth Cole. Just, um, there's Walton, yeah. That, I guess they got that car fixed, so Walton's back on the track and losing. Well, he's already left down, so it didn't matter. As we're moving back up, there's Seth Cole going down the bridge and staying away from the outside line. He's now going to try to work it well. As Alan Smith really had a good run on there, and Seth Cole didn't. But he's got to hold. Seth Cole's got to hold him up one more turn. Can he do it? Seth Cole coming in on the turn number seven and coming off a turn number eight. And Seth Cole, who is going to get some redemption here today, he is going to win here at um, Chicago Twin. There's a caution. Who wrecked? Oh, they're holding up the... Oh, it's Walton that's holding up the field. And Dandy Wells was involved. What the hell happened? We're going to look at Dandy Wells in a moment. But now these guys in the back, they got to get moving now because of that 11 car. Big break for Justin Townpass there. He finally gets through him. No one, like, got through passing wise there. Oh, man, just... And there's Michael Walton, man. Michael Walton just not having a good race, and finally his day is over. I'm guessing that the 11 and 12 got into each other. But Seth Cole has won your race. Whoa, takes a nice slide job with that as well. Hello there. So, great job for the Nemco Motorsports number 97 team as he won from the pole. Let's take a look at what happened to Danny Wells. We'll take a look at this. Watch the speed of Danny Wells. His speed just randomly drops. Just his speed is dropping fast. We're showing you from here because this is important. Stephen Dillon, Anthony Emery got through, and Austin Ogo, some of those drivers there. Like, they made it through because of that, so big break for them. But all these guys just got held up because of that, and the 12 car just then stops because that car is just dead. So, tough break for Danny Wells. He's going to. End up 41st, I guess, and uh, let's take you to your results. But once again, congrats to Seth Cole as he gets his first win of the season for for him. Second or third for Nemco Motorsports, second of his career. And Alan Smith will get 14 points added on. So this is going to be big for him. Who was in the bottom of the points? This will be big for him. All right, guys, thank you so much. I'm 8675309958. Signing off. Here come your results and your chase points.